Yo, what is up, everybody on the interweb? It is your boy, boy, boy. Yeah, games on your phone. Bretholomew here, and I'm back with another video. It is a bit late, a little bit late. Um, as you can see by the time you're in the bottom right, what better way to end the evening off than to react to some videos? <laughs> so today is gonna be a little bit unorthodox because we're going to react to Emily made in Japan. Um, she has over 2.2 million subs. Talking about subs, almost at 69 subs, guys. Come on, like share, like you know all the other stuff. Yes. Um. So basically, the video that we're going to react to is instant pot shonging ox penis soup recipe test. Yeah, try to say that when you're drunk. <laughs> Let's get to reacting. Greetings, my beautiful lovelies. No, you're beautiful and lovely. <laughs> I actually like the setup here in the background. Yo, oh my damn. Maybe I should. No, no, it's fine. It's fine. It's Emmy. Welcome back. Today I'm going to be cooking bull penis soup. And that's exactly what you want in a restaurant. <laughs> I actually thought that was when you piss off one of the waiters and then. And they stay there. <laughs> then they decide to tea bag your soup. It was like, mm. yum yum. It's tang. Yes. Dick soup. I'm going to be cooking bull penis the other day. We had to go to the Asian market because I need to pick up some provisions, namely rice and some other staples in our pantry. And then I went to the meat department, like I always do, to look up some interesting bits. And I found ox penis. Now, I'm pretty sure this is probably not ox penis in the sense that oxen aren't really raised as livestock here. Very earnest, and she just really wants to know what these things taste like. So when I was looking at the- Curious minds. <laughs> What's it what I'm looking for? Curiosity? I slate, I can't speak anymore. Curiosity kills the cat. Yes. Well, in this case, curiosity killed the bull. <laughs> here is what it looks like. Now a few. Oh my damn! Yo, it's almost as big as her. <laughs> I guess that's one thing me and bulls have alike. <laughs> I don't know. Asian women like to eat us. <laughs> few of you on Facebook wondered if the package was just one penis. No, it wasn't. I believe these are four separate penises. I think. I mean, it is hard to tell because one end seems to be wider. So I believe this is probably the part that was connected more to the pelvis of the animal. And it does taper. But the end of the taper looks to be a pretty blunt cut. Although they all seem to be about the same length, I'd say about two feet. Pretty narrow. Cattle ranchers, do let me know what is the length of a bull's penis. Let me know. They're pretty long and very kind of tough feeling. I'm sure many of you are wondering, does this stink? Does it smell at all? Does it smell like urine? No, it doesn't. It doesn't smell at all, which is kind of surprising because inside here we have the urethra and oh. that's where the fluid flows, right? Oh Alrighty, God. so now we're gonna prepare our penises. Now those that have <laughs> penises may wanna skip ahead at this part because it might get a little graphic for you. So what we're gonna do is remove this stretchy skin on the outside, that's very tough. And then we're going to slice down the middle and open it up and soak these for a half an hour in cold water. Oh, no. Okay, there we go. Wow, really tough. There's some skin. So just take your scissors and go down the length of the penis. We're gonna cut all the way down so we can open it up and make sure that this track is nice and clean. I don't know if it was like this and then like we, we see that and then we feel the pain and then the the the, the pain. The pain. <laughs> <laughs> and now we are ready to assemble our soup. And now in the original recipe she says to simmer this soup on the stove top at a low simmer for 10 hours. I'm going to be using my handy dandy instant pot. This is an electric pressure cooker. And I'm going to be using my handy dandy instant I wonder where I can get that pot. 
like I'm really interested with where I could get a pot like that. Pot. This is an electric pressure cooker and this should shorten the time significantly. So this is certainly not the first time I've used my instant pot. I've made other unconventional recipes. I've made homemade wine. I've made instant, pretty much instant pho soup. Where was this lady in lockdown? <laughs> I've also made homemade natto with it. So into the Instant Pot, we're going to add our four bowl penises. Goodbye, friends. No, don't call it friends. Oh, no. Next, I'm going to add a bunch of fresh ginger. The recipe says an old hen, which I found very charming. I don't have an old hen. I just have a chicken that I bought from the store. So we're going to add that in there as well. <laughs> this is like some kind of witchcraft. It's like... You need four tollies of a cow. You need one chicken. Leaves from the witch of the west. Make sure you put the pressure cooker on five. Hootie beans. <laughs> so like in any recipe where you're dealing with raw meat, it's important to always wash your hands so you can avoid cross-contamination. Next, we're gonna add some Shaoxing wine. Now this recipe did not have any recipe amounts, so I'm gonna kind of eyeball it. I'm gonna put in about a quarter cup. Some glugs of that. Next, I'm gonna add some Sichuan peppercorns. Just about See what I mean? Sichuan peppercorns. One chicken. We have to fight four bulls. Close that up, and we're gonna put it on seedling. So pressure cook, and then I'm gonna do 45 minutes. I am back to taste my bull penis soup. Now, after 45 minutes, I did a quick release, and then I added some wolf berries, also known as goji berries. These are beautiful. Gucci beans, shing shuang powder, one chicken, fight four bulls, and some wicked leaves of the witch of the west. The flavor, we're not gonna actually eat the chicken. This is all about the penis. <laughs> After 45 minutes of pressure cooking. <coughs> oh, wrong type. <coughs> oh, I'm just childish, I'm sorry. Here's what the penis looks like. Look at that texture. <laughs> Don't wiggle it. Get another one out. <laughs> okay, that's evil, that's evil. Yo, how do you look? <laughs> so there it is. We're just going to cut this up into bite-sized pieces. And as you can see, it is very tender. Put some of them into my bowl. And top it with some broth. There we have it. Bowl penis soup. Okay, now it's time and for the taste, 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 taste. Salt. We didn't add any salt to the broth at all, so it's going to need it. Alrighty, here we go. Let's give our bowl penis soup a taste. Let's try the broth first. Itadakimasu. Mmm! The soup is great! The soup tastes like a good chicken broth. Rich and chickeny. It's got a little bit of that chicken fat on top. Mm. Delicious! Doesn't taste stinky, doesn't taste porky or beefy. I'm actually legitimately interested. Tastes like chicken broth. Alrighty, Except for the now let's try a piece of penis. Hmm. That's not bad. If you've ever had pho with beef tendons, the texture is actually very, very similar. It just melts away. It's so tender and soft. It feels kind of fatty and gelatinous. It's great. I like it. In terms of flavor, it doesn't really have much flavor at all. It just tastes like chicken broth. What it's about is this texture. The texture is very gelatinous and kind of gooey, fatty, and slippery but just gelatinously tender. So, so tender. Mm hmm It's great. Bull penis is great. I like it. Well, that was a little bit unconventional. Yes. But yeah, um, make sure you go over to a site. It's like literally good, like legitimately good um, recipe that I won't mind trying out myself. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this video, slap a like if there's anything i can do to improve my videos in any way please let me know in the comments below and um stay safe safe this
I'm actually legitimately interested. Except for the 20 part. <laughs>